Hello and welcome to another video. I hope you are doing well. It's always great to see you. If you do enjoy my videos, it would mean a lot if you wouldn't mind to quickly take the time to click the like button and hit unsubscribe to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing and doing first impressions of this guy. This is the Morphe Arch Obsessions 5 piece brow kit. So you get 5 products in here. Big savings, the RRP for this is £20. I got this actually on a 50% off sale and I did see it last year, I think for like seven quid, which is insane because it's got a £32 value. All of the products in here you can buy individually on Morphe, but they've bundled them together and given savings. So even if you buy it full price at 20 quid, you're saving £12. So you can choose this in 10 shades. I have chosen the shade Mocha. And yeah, I've never used any of the Morphe brow products before, so we'll see what's in the kit and we'll see how they apply. I haven't done my brows today, so here we go. On the back of the packet, it says five must-haves for a kicking arch. Keep it natural or go full drama when shaping, filling, and finishing your brows. From the first pencil swipe to the last stroke of highlighter, this all-in-one kit will have you slaying through thick and thin. So, and then it tells you what the five products are, but I'm going to show you anyway. So, we have a present. It's all wrapped up in a present. White tissue paper. And, yeah, inside are the five products. So it looks like only two products have whatever color you chose. Like I said, I chose Mocha. And then three products are like as standard, so they're not in shade, everyone gets the same. So the first product is a cream, brow cream. Cute, you can see there the brown is kind of like a dark warm brown. So I chose this color because my brows are quite dark anyway, so I don't need to use a brow color to like, you know, really like define my brows because they're already quite defined as normal. Um, I use it to add a little bit of warmth and to add definition and to adjust the shape maybe like a little bit, but on the whole, um, I am quite lucky with my brows with like the shape that they are normally. And then the other product in the color that you chose is the uh, eyebrow pencil. So we have a twist top and there's something on the other side as well. Is it a spoolie? Yes, it's a spoolie. So there's a spoolie in there with the brow pencil. And again, this, they sell this individually at Morphe. And this is seven pounds. Then something in some plastic, you have a spoolie and brow brush, so it's double-ended. So this is like all the standard products that is in each kit, so decent spoolie at the end. It's bigger and more robust than the one that is in the pencil. And then on the other side, you have a brush. Then we have a highlighter. It's a highlighter pencil, so we'll give that a go. I. I believe that's all in the same shade. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's all in Oh Brow Baby. So it's a brow highlighter. And then last but not least is a brow setting gel. So there you go, it's a clear gel. I should have said the spoolie has a value of six pounds if bought individually. The highlighter has a value of six pounds if bought individually. And the setting gel is seven pounds if bought individually. So it's a decent kit, I think. That is actually everything I would use anyway to do my brows, so they've ticked all the boxes. Let's see how it works. What I'm gonna do is go in with the pencil because I like to create a line at the front of my brows, which helps me kind of like with my shape. So let's go. Here. So I only do that like under my brow 
And then I will fluff that out with the spoolie on the other side, so hopefully this blends well. Yes, it does. So you can, you can kind of see it, but it's not like... There we go. There we go, if you look at that brow, so that's the, with the line fluffed out, that's how I drew it on. So I just bring it up and just kind of blend it out. And that kind of gives me a bit of shape. Then I'm gonna go brow cream. So using the uh, spoolie brush that came in the kit and the brow cream. Using a new product like this scares me because you don't know how easy it's gonna be. But let's see, so. I'm gonna start at the end because you always want your end to be darker. And, ooh, it's creamy. Hmm. And then I kind of just like follow that line that I made earlier. And then I fill in the top here with a bit of extra product because that's really like my only gap. More of a problem on this side, because my, my brows aren't identical, but Colour Mocker is giving me a little bit more warmth than I would normally have, but I don't need to use too much because like I said, my brows are quite dark anyway, so they keep a lot of the colour. And then same again on the other side. So I just go in the pot and then I just kind of like go with the direction of the the brush, just down. And then put it in here. And then I'm not too fussed about the front because I don't want it to be like a block color. So I really do kind of just like fluff it out. Whereas like on the ends, I'm like really precise to get quite a bit of thickness. Very nice. I'll swatch the colour for you on my, my hand so you can see the brown. So it is when you kind of like, I guess, buff it out, it does go quite light. I think maybe for me, I would have gone for a shade slightly darker in future, just because, you know, if you have it quite intense and build it up, then it is quite dark, then it also blends out to a very light colour. So, if I am feeling like it's a little bit too light, I just have to build the colour up. Not a problem, but yeah, now that I know that it is quite blendable, I probably would have gone for a darker colour. But it's still... Then... Highlight pencil. I know some people just do like here in the middle just to like bring their arch up. I like to do all the way underneath. So the only thing they haven't given you in this kit is a brush to buff this out. You can use your finger or I will use a brush and also a little bit of powder as well. So I've got, just got some powder here and a fluffy brush. And just blend. Okay, the highlighter, it blends. I have to go over it a few times. It's not the easiest highlighter, brow highlighter that I've used to blend, but it works. And then finally, the setting gel. Very easy to use. Good size spoolie on the end. Doesn't seem to leave a bit of shine if you touch your skin. Let that dry and see. So there we go, those are my brows using the Morphe 5 piece brow kit. Let me know what you think. First of all, great value for money. You pretty much have everything you need other than like a brush to buff out the highlight. 
I found the highlight for my skin tone just to be a little bit warm and orangey. I really like a highlight to kind of pop and be really kind of fair, but then I do have very fair skin. I already said it, but with the brow cream, it does, certainly the mocha does blend out. So you can either have it quite intense or, or quite, or a lot more of a light brown. So if I'd have known that, I would have gone for a shade darker um, because I don't want to be using loads of product in my brows and have build up. But nonetheless, I would still use this. The pencil was fine. I haven't really got anything much to say about the pencil. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you use this kit or these brow products and what you think. But yeah, very happy. And you know what, even if you do choose the wrong shade, you still have got in like the pencil and the, the cream, you've still got the three other products which are like as standard. So all is not lost. If you wanna like just experiment or try a shade, I think this is the way to do it. Um, but that's it for another video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's so good to see you. Remember, you're gorgeous just the way you are. And I will see you very soon on another video. Take care, bye.